All right, just took a short break, um, but we're here and I was thinking we're gonna focus a bit on Adam today. So Adam is my 15 year old uh, black stallion that we bought way, uh, a while back. He is um, uh, slightly better than Julian. I've never even tried him, so I think we're gonna do that now. First, we're gonna tack him up, get some nice tick, maybe the tan. You don't have that much to choose from, so it's basically the same outfit that Julian has. Uh, okay, let's take him to the meadows. I love the full tail he has. It looks so cute. So Adam being a very high spirited horse, he will um, accelerate on his own whenever given the chance. You can see that he already is very like, um, he just wants to go. So if I don't watch him, if I don't do anything, he will just keep accelerating and keep taking his own um, initiatives. Uh, beautiful, I love black horses. Okay, whoop, whoop, whoop. So we're gonna explore here for a bit. And while we do, we're gonna put him on some routines. He, actually, since he is uh, pretty skilled, he can train some more difficult routines. So let's just do the um, intermediate jump routine. Why not? And uh, let's just jump any jumps we uh, encounter during this little ride, uh, this relaxing ride on our crazy horse. Practice some lead changes, just get back in the flow, in the rhythm, jump with Adam. Nice. So we have to clear five jumps as the first part of the routine and um, our environment artists have been placing out a lot of these natural jumps. Oh, he's a bit scared of something. It's okay. And uh, we remember that this horse is very easily spooked. So he will, um, whenever he gets like a bit scared of something, he will like get scared pretty fast um, so we have to sort of watch him and be ready to calm him down a bit and it's good to to do some training as well we can for example try and cross this bridge which uh, should be a slight mentality challenge for him you remember there was a bridge in the first tutorial level um, the horse got scared there so the trick is to really keep a slow tempo. The, the faster you go, the more scared he will actually become. So we're just gonna keep it slow, keep padding. Um, you see, if I if I don't like do anything, uh, yeah, now we're really past the bridge. But if I were to just like speed up and not calm him, he would eventually, he could get um, scared enough to actually throw me off which we do not want. We want to cross this bridge successfully um, because then he will get mentality and it will be a little less scary next time. Um, so horses, you know, they get scared of things. So this is, if I just do not help him out, he will get scared, start rearing. We don't want that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. Okay. Feels better. Nice. And there we got the bubbles. That signifies that we got some uh, mentality XP. Gonna continue practicing these jumps. Nice. That was the first part of the intermediate. Oh, don't be scared. It's just a bush. It's okay. 
Exposure therapy with Adam. Okay, good, good. All right, let's continue practicing some jumps. I was planning we could go into this little enclosed area because here you can also uh, practice jumping on some jumps that have been uh, set up here. So I really made it a bit challenging for myself by choosing a horse that's really the opposite from Julian. Uh, so when competing, you really have to remember which horse you're on because um, your strategy has to be very different depending on if it's uh, calm or spirited. Whoop. Oh, that was my fault. It was a bad turn. The terrain is a bit uneven here outdoors as well, so it's a bit trickier to jump here than in the, the riding hall where everything is just like flat and smooth. Um, but this is uh, this nature, it's challenging. So the intermediate jump practice, oh sorry, um, requires you to jump many more jumps than the beginner. But you will, of course, get a lot more XP. And I also think that the intermediate one might actually train more stats than only jumping. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I think that was... Yes, it's finished. Nice. So while we're here with our little crazy horse, uh, I think we're gonna do a trial over here as well. The trials um, currently will give you some uh, cash for completing, apart from of course being like a, a leaderboard thing where you can like uh, win and get to the top of the scoreboard. Uh, but you'll also get some money for competing if you do it within the uh, time limit. So here's one. Let's take a look. So I haven't done this yet. We get 50 cash if we complete it. And we see that Kurt Cobain is in the top of 1 minute and 10 seconds. So the challenge with these uh, longer trials is that uh, you can like sprint the entire way but you might run low on stamina and when that happens the horse will need to uh, slow down a bit to regain that. Since Adam is uh, high spirited he <laughs> likes running so we don't have to really like we hardly ever need to ask him to go faster. He will always like run as fast as possible. <laughs> you may notice that the fastest, fastest state is the extended canter. There's no like sprinting or galloping state as of yet. Uh, right now, uh, the extended canter is the, the fastest gait. The extended canter, like, it doesn't really represent the horse running at maximum speed. Um, so it's definitely possible that we add like a sprinting state later on. So you can cover some more grounds faster. Oh, I totally forgot that we should hurry up. I don't think we're gonna beat Kurt Cobain's time. <laughs> Yay. Okay, nice. 124. It was a new first place for me at least and we got the 50 cash. Nice. 
and we also got some more mentality XP. That's always good. Look now, he's much less scared of this uh, spooky bridge. Nice. Good boy. I like just watching my horse and rider ride peacefully. Good boy. Cool. I think this is going to be it for this trail. So whenever we're in a trail ride, we can choose to walk home or we can simply leave the trail right from this button here nice okay he actually leveled up and jump and he got some speed but he's already uh, reached potential in speed he also got turn ability and he got a lot of mentality leveled up that as well perfect very very good session actually nice gonna let Adam rest for a bit and I think next time we're gonna take this boy competing and see how far he can go.